in the PD, but really this is a story everyone needs mm. to come hear. 911 dispatchers say they're having trouble finding some folks in crisis. Yeah, our Julia Richardson details a common issue first responders are now running into, also telling you what you should do in the event of an emergency. We will have folks call in the 911 and say, send the police and EMS and hang up. We have no idea where they are. It's an issue Marion County Sheriff's Office spokesperson Tammy Irwin says she sees all the time when listening to dispatch on her radio. And it's also one that the county's 911 director says makes it tough to track down exactly who needs her help. If that call drops, we'll continuously try to call them back. If it's pinging on our map in a certain location, we'll dispatch it out to the officers, letting them know we had a 911 call, a 911 hang up, and see if they can make contact with the caller. If you call 911 on a landline, I'm told you may have more success. When someone calls 911 on a landline, what shows up in our CAD system is the address, the owner of the residence, and the phone number. But with cell phones, it's a different story. Irwin says it can take up to 25 seconds for the dispatch system to show more than just the closest cell tower. When I called from the parking lot here at 2715 East Highway 76 Mullins, uh, which is near Airport Court, it actually told 911 initially that I was on Metal Road, which is here in Marion, in the city limits of Marion. It's actually 2.6 miles from where I truly was. So I decided to try it myself. 911. Hi, where am I? You're at Neil Tower Sticks, 25 Jerry Road. The dispatcher told me I was on Jerry Road, which is actually where the closest cell tower is, but that's over a mile from where I'm standing right now. That's why authorities are urging you to stay on the line as long as possible in a dangerous situation, even if that means hiding your phone or throwing it across the room. If we are unable to find you, minutes mean lives. In Marion County, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.